Hey there guys and welcome back to Legionaries Road to the Premier League Season 2 Episode 11. Basically this video is going to be all about my transfer targets, getting them in before deadline day because to be honest I hate rushing things and I hate getting people in and last minute deals and whatnot. Well you can't all be Neil Warnock. <laughs> Anyway, this is a player that I've had my eye on for a while, uh, Scott Allen. Uh, they're wanting quite a bit for him, but I'm going to see if I can get a bargain there at 750 grand. So we'll see how that goes. If not, um, there are a few other players which I can replace him with. It's not a problem. Uh, Jack Robinson is on my radar. This is Luke Shaw. So we're going to approach to buy him and he's yet to sign a long term deal so we could get him on the cheap here. So let's go for two, uh, yeah, let's go for four, 495k, uh, I reckon they'll bite with that hopefully, because that is a bargain because apparently he becomes a really really good player. He's the future left back for England, so that's a huge signing if we get him. And uh, Zavon Hines, I don't think I'm going to even try and get him. I don't think he's good enough for my team. Uh, Thomas Inns, we'll try. I'm going to try and get him because I really rate him. I think he's a fantastic player and he'd fit well in my squad with Gradle and um, Thomas and Robinson. Uh, Josh McEachern, uh, he's currently on loan so that wasn't going to happen and Alex Pearce isn't going to happen as well as you'll know. Uh, I said earlier that I wanted a goalkeeper to replace or to um, give Butland some competition and uh, Alex McCarthy who was on loan to us last year is the person I've gone to. So we'll see where that deal goes. Like I say, I've left myself loads of time to make these deals happen. I haven't left it till the last minute because I really don't like doing that. Um, so we'll just have a look really at goalkeepers. Scott Loach was another one I was looking at. Uh, John Ruddy, but he's way too much and Norwich will let him go. I know that for a fact. So let's have a look at some strikers. Uh, as you'll know, we uh, signed Steve Morrison for real, uh, swap, Drake, swap for Vecchio, and he's really good on this game, so I really won't mind snapping him up, but I reckon Norwich won't let him go. We can inquire and see where it goes, but he is by far their best striker, as you can see. And um, yeah, room talks with McGugan, but. Forest want too much for him and I can't afford him. Speaking of Forest, that's who we've got next away. As you can see we're sixth in the table, two points adrift uh, uh, Forest from us so uh, really we need to be winning this game. Uh, they want 3.4 million, it's too much. Oh god, they want 6.5 million for Thomas Ince, I might go for that. Uh, Jack Robinson's rejected his contract, he wants a bigger squad role. And I've been offered an international job again, which I'm not going to take. I'm not bothered about international jobs. My sole purpose of this series is to get Leeds to the Premier League. And that is what I intend to do first before I go on any other jobs or anything. You know what? I'm going to approach to buy him. I'm going to bid. I'm going to bid 6.5 mil. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but I really rate him. I think he's a fantastic player. He's only 21. He'll do well in the Premiership. So let's see. You know, he's not getting any football at Bayern Munich, so I might as well try. And if I fail, I fail. You know, at least we've tried to get another winger in. Uh, Robinson's recently signed a new contract, so I'm going to have to pay hand over fist for him as well, which I don't mind. He can play right back as well, so he's really good cover to have. So I really need him. As I say, it's a squad that wins your promotion, not just your first team. So I really need to get some decent squad players in and win this, well, not win this league, but win these playoffs. Because that's the only thing I'm aiming for now. I think second place is gone. The gap's too much. I mean, I'm on a good run at the moment, winning a few games every now and then, but nothing consistent enough to 
get uh, catch up to Wigan, so yeah, I think that's gone. Anyway, we've got Forrest out away. So we've got McCall Smith and Wells, Barkley, Gradle and Robinson, Austin, Charlie Taylor. And we've won 3 1. Um, the McCall Smith and Robinson with the goals, and Green got one as well off the bench. Uh, so that's all good. Uh, Blackstock scored for them, a player we were linked to, and your Steve Morrison inquiry. Oh, the only one, 150k for him. Uh, Alex McCarthy, Chelsea. D is currently out on loan. Alex Pierce is doesn't. He's not going to go. Oh, with the option to buy him at the loan period, we feel the fee involved is fair, but you are we are not yet decisive on allowing him to spend a period on loan. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I could get some cover in at centre back as well, which is all good. Ah, oh, back to the short list. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. Who did we say we were going to go for? We're going to make an offer for Steve Morrison. So let's approach him to buy. He's not signed a long term deal yet, but he's one of the key players in his role, so we could get a good deal. Let's offer 800k. And see where it goes. I could really do it with another striker in. Just in case McCall Smith decides to leave and Beckford's not happy either. Uh, Alex McCarthy, who I want to buy as a squad rotation player, you know, as a goalkeeper, to challenge Butland because Butland's been really poor recently and I think it might be because he's playing too many games. I mean, he's not had a rest this season since I bought him, so we'll see if it performs any better once. He's got some competition and uh, he can rest every now and then. They've rejected the bloody bid again for Scott Allen, so that's it. I think I'm going to give up with that. Um, all this has happened since I started this series. There's a hell of a lot of stuff to go through. Well, I'm going to bid. I'm going to bid one million. One million. Please let me have him for this. I really do want him. This is it though. I'm not bidding anymore. I am bothered. I am bothered. Uh, who else have we got? We've got King. I thought we'd wrong. He's still on loan actually to Knox County. I forgot I've got him to come back. Uh, it's been rejected. So really do want him, I think he's a good player but if they're going to be complete dicks about it fuck him, I ain't bothered there's plenty of other players I can get in to fill in that position, I've got the youngster don't ask me to pronounce his name, Verdejo or whatever he's called who can play in the centre mid role as well, so yeah uh, yeah, guys, basically most of this video is just spent rejecting offers, accepting offers, getting new players in, and uh, there's not so much football in it. Uh, yeah, they want me to take the Paraguay job. Uh, 12 months, we expect you to meet the following objectives. Qualify for the World Cup. No. Like I said, this series is for Leeds United. Premier League, that is my main concern the fuck everything else, unless the England job comes up, then I'm bound to take it, but otherwise, I'm not bothered. <sighs> it's been a million. Why is it reset? Stupid game. One million, that's it for me. Yeah, approached by Leeds United about five fucking times. We've got Leicester next at home, who are struggling in the league of 15th. Oh, finally, transfer offer has been accepted for Jack Robinson. So we need to offer him a contract, important first team player, which he will be. You know, he's not as, he's not a scratch on um, Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw is going to be a backup, and Charlie Taylor can go back out on loan. Ooh. That's interesting. They've accepted the 6.5 million for Thomas Ince. Let's offer him a contract. 
which let's see if he accepts that if not I'm willing to up it because I know he's living abroad so he's probably going to want like Gradle did loads and loads and loads of money to move back over here which is fine I can afford it so but yeah he'd be a really good player to have really good player not a hundred percent sure where he's gonna fit into my squad I might have to change my formation but I'm gonna reject this you know we're not interested in bloody international jobs at this current moment but uh, yeah I was saying we've got Leicester at home eventually like I say sorry guys this video is so tedious with all the loans and buying and transfers and I don't think I sell a player at all at this stage. Uh, so let's complete this deal. Uh, the player is affordable and keen, so... Yeah, we can see what he's like on loan, and I can always reject buying him if I don't want him. Oh, great, they've accepted the offer for Luke Shaw. So let's offer him 5k. Five-year contract, squad rotation player, because he's not going to be a first-team player. There's no point in lying to them because they just get annoyed. Norwich transfer offer reject is too valuable to us. Fucking knobs. I hate Norwich. Well, and Alex McCarthy is not happy because he's not a first team player, so let's make let's see if he goes for this a little bit more money. Otherwise, I might have to say, look, you're going to be a first-team player, but I'll have to rotate you on Butland every game. Huh. Manessa joins Mega Rich League United. Only on FIFA, ladies and gentlemen. Only on FIFA. Oh, GFH are planning to flip us, apparently, already, and sell us. Which is fine with me. Uh, quite a lot of people retiring at the end of the season. Luke Varney retiring. He's only 31. Oh, 32, sorry. Bloody hell, Drury's younger than him. Uh, Paul Green's unhappy, so he can piss off on a transfer list him. I don't care. I'm going to get plenty of players in to cover him, so... Uh, Norris transfer listed, like I say, 32, 64. Not good enough. I'm going to offer Jerome Thomas a new contract because he is a vital part of my team and he's only got another year left and I reckon that might attract a few bids and that's the last thing I want so we'll see how that goes Wells I really want to keep him he's gone up again he's 69 now 1.2 million he's worth he's worth more than I paid for him you know I'm tempted to release half these players from the contracts, but what's the point? I might as well just let them run their course. It's quite irritating. I mean, Pelty is worth one mil. I'm tempted to sell him, never play him, don't rate him. But he's good cover to have at centre back, I guess, so I might as well keep him. But when I get into the Premier League, I don't know if any of the players that used to be at Leeds, apart from Ross McCormack, are going to be good enough. Oh, fuck off, West Brom. They've rejected the offer again. They're just... They're just pissing me off now, you know. I'm going to offer 1.2 mil. <sighs> Bloody fucking West Brom. I really do want this player, I'm sure you've noticed. That's it, though. I'm not offering any more. 1.2 mil's my limit yeah I bet you saw that coming Paul Green is looking for a new club after being told he has no future at Leeds United the news came as no shock since the 30 year old isn't one of the top players at the club and an upgrade is likely oh, Man City planning to spend the cash I uh, don't know if you saw that guys but did you see who my next FA Cup game was against If you didn't, you soon will. Oh, what? They want one. They want two point one million for him. They can piss off. He's not worth that. 
Right, let's complete this deal because this is a player I'm really keen to get in. And this one. Sweet. Two left backs. Both can play right back, so that's all good. And I knew Thomasins would reject his contract. He doesn't want to re relocate exactly the same as Gradle. <laughs> you know what? Let's offer him a hell of a lot more. Let's offer him 10k more. Crucial first team player. Your best bite, bitch. And I don't think I'm going to get another striker in now. If I get him, I don't need one. Uh, Alex McCarthy's not interested in being a fucking rotation player. I know, but uh, I'm just gonna have to say, look, mate, you're gonna be, you're gonna be in the first team. Yeah, let's see if he goes for that sporadic first team player. Uh, Jack Robinson is here, so. Let's put him in the team and change a few other things about. Unfortunately, that means the end of the road for Charlie Taylor, as far as I'm concerned, he's not good enough. Uh, Luke Shaw, I'm going to put on the bench instead of Drury, because Drury's knackered. He's 59. So, I've uh, got McCormack and Kisnabo coming back from injury, and he's accepted that. No surprise at all. Thomasins has accepted 25k a week. Yeah, I bet he has. Never mind. As long as you get the man, which we have. And once again, Alex McCarthy's like, no, nope, I really do want to play first team football, so. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to say, look, mate. You're a crucial first team. You're an important first team player. You're an important important first team player you know you are going to be in the first team just not every week and what I might do is rotate them like have Butland in one week and then McCarthy in the next because they're both very capable goalkeepers in my opinion so hooray we have successfully negotiated the um, signing of Thomas in so let's stick him in that and like I say I'm not 100% sure where he can go uh, could this spell the end of the line for um, Thomas I think it will I'm afraid I wish I hadn't offered him a new contract now but never mind he's a useful squad player to have uh, loan opportunity for Taylor like I say he's not good enough to play in the premiership and that's what I need so he can go out and learn, see if he gets any better. He's still only 20, so he could get better. Uh, Inch joins Mega Rich Leeds United. Only on FIFA. And there you have it. You'll have seen it now. My next FA Cup game is away to Manchester United. And I will tell you now, ladies and gentlemen, I will be playing that game. Just for the simple fact. There's no way I can't. There is no way I can't play that game. And that will be the next episode. Anyway, on to this game. There's far more important matters like the league. Uh, we've got Leicester at home. Bit of a poor run. The 15th in the league. I've drawn the last two and lost one. Uh, whereas I've drawn one, won one, lost one. So really I'm not in much better state. Apart from I'm sixth in the league and Cardiff starting to build quite a gap, but I'm starting to build a little bit of a gap to Forest, which is good news because the best we can hope for now is the playoffs, I'm afraid. As much as I've tried to break into the top two, I just can't, you know, I'm not consistent enough. One one minute I'm winning games and thinking this is a piece of piss, next minute I'm getting absolutely dicked and thinking for fuck's sake, what's, what am I doing with my life? Anyway, I will say this, uh, Robinson combined really well with Wells, who uh, took it round the defender, and is that a penalty? That, that looks like he's bundled him over to me, and obviously that's a free kick. 
Uh, Naki Welzo cuts on the inside and what a goal. What a goal that is. What a well worked individual goal. He's just dicked him. He's just dicked him and left him. So 1-0 up in the 7th minute which is a great start. It's just the start we needed and to be honest Leicester looked a little bit nervous. You know couldn't handle our new strike force. Gradle threw on goal. Must score surely. Oh good save. Really unlucky. But you know this team is just pace pace pace. I know I'm a, being a little bit of a pace whore. I will admit that but FIFA's all about the pace. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> really close by Jack Robinson. He can shoot the lad. But Leicester did come forward and cause me a few problems, and he really, really should not have missed that. He should have sweated that straight to his oncoming player and scored, but he was a little bit greedy, luckily for me. That is really well cleared, and what a tackle that is. That is class. And Gradle seems to be a really good defender as well. But check this out for counter-attacking football. Uh, Ince uses his pace, who gives it to Robinson, who gives it back to Ince. And you've guessed the rest, ladies and gentlemen. He gets his debut goal for Leeds United in the 29th minute. And that's the bottom line, really. Ince is class already in... 29 minutes I've decided that Ince is absolutely awesome and he was worth 6.5 million but like I say look at the pace we've got on the team now I've got Cradle I've got Ince, I've got Robinson I've got Wells it's insane I could outrun any back line surely well I'll definitely find out where my team is at against Manchester United in the next video so we will see uh, as you'll know, guys, I'm shite at free kicks, so you're going to have to bear with me. I've no idea why Tom Lees is taking this. And it should be Rodolf Austin, because he's got the power of a beast, and he's shit. Never mind. Ince ended up taking it anyway for some reason, I don't know why. But Gradle crosses it. Oh, good save. Really good save. And uh, I decided to make a change on that note. Who do you think I'm going to bring on? <laughs> yeah, I brought in soft because he's just come into the team and I thought, you know, I'll give Beckford a chance. I bought Luke Shaw on for uh, Robinson earlier. Uh, there we go. It's getting a little bit confusing, isn't it? Because I've now got two Robinsons in my team. I've got Theo Robinson, I've got Jack Robinson. So you're not going to be like, which Robinson are you on about? I'll try and make sure I tell you which one it is. So uh, Jerome Thomas has come on for Theo Robinson, and Jermaine Beckford's come on for Ince. But what, what a ball. What a ball that is. That is sexy. Oh, finish it. Yes, that is it. And Jerome Thomas scores with his head, and he's only just come onto the pitch. Um, Beckford maybe should have scored in the first place but that was it we won 3-0, Leicester were incredibly shit and we made them look shit, they are shit and that's pretty much it I think they had one shot on target why has Butland got man of the match with Lees I, I don't understand this game sometimes <laughs> never mind anyway yep we should be now well and truly um, on our way, you know, with this team. This is the team now that have got to do the business. They've got to start winning these games. Now, oh, Bloody Forest won. Hull won. Cardiff won. I mean, I've already resigned to the fact I'm not going to catch Wigan. They're hardly losing any games. Uh, Jerome Thomas has accepted his contract and Alex McCarthy has accepted his as well. That's all good news because, like I say, the rotation players and we'll use them in the squad. And there you have it. Manchester United at home. 
like I say, I know I usually sim my away games, but I'm going to play this one just for shits and giggles. I'm probably going to get annihilated, like completely ass raped, but I'm going to give it a really, really good go. I'm going to try and shock him like we did in 2010. Uh, no one needs reminding about that date, do they? 3rd of January, Jermaine Beckford. Ah, oh, class. Got Beckford shirt, actually. Anyway, we've got um, a couple of games coming up in the next episode as well. We've got Middlesbrough and a few others. And basically that's it guys, I'm going to have to end this video here, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, if you have let me know, you know, comment, subscribe, I know a lot of you do and I really appreciate it, it spurs me on to finish this thing once and for all, and we will get to the Premier League, cheers guys.